Okay, it's kit time. Uh, I got this off of eBay and I made a mistake. <laughs> so if you buy things off of eBay, don't go out on the picture. You got to read the description, okay? You got to read the description because sometimes it says, oh, you know, here's a 20, you know, uh, a 2020 uh, Corvette, but there's no engine, right? <laughs> well, this is a, uh, <laughs> let's see, let's get it onto a tray. Nice. So this is a light bulb kit. I've never seen a light bulb kit. So I thought that'd be, that'd be kind of fun. Uh, looks like it pushes on, so I won't do that right now. But it has uh, an Edison socket. Mr. Edison invented that. Um, and it has a PC board and some electronics to drive the LEDs. And the PC board is... No, it's not metal. I thought it was going to be metal. <laughs> it is phenolic. <laughs> I don't even think it's FR4. Looks pretty bad. Um, and there's an extra board. You get two boards. Okay, a little single-sided board here. And then the LED board here. But no LEDs. So the kit said no LEDs included. So, um, yeah, that's too bad. I don't want to, I don't want to put LEDs in it. I don't think I want to put LEDs in it. Um, oh, it's an EQ kit. Interesting. Some Chinese on here. I can't read it. Um, looks like it's... There's a one plus and there's a minus. So it's one big string. One big string of how many LEDs? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm not going to count them one big string so they probably just rectify the rectify the AC and uh, <laughs> call it a day uh, that's kind of fun let's see let's look at the PC board yeah there's a bridge diode one two three four diodes there's a 200k resistor and a 470k resistor and uh, some types of capacitors. A 400 volt 4.7 and a 400 volt 40, 470 picofarad, maybe? Uh, so I thought we would at least build it up and see what kind of voltage we get on this thing and determine how dangerous it is. <laughs> <laughs> Might be dangerous. I don't know. Uh, anytime you work around AC out of the wall, of course it's dangerous, but this looks especially dangerous. All right, let's uh, let's get it built. So uh, you may have seen my other video. I was um, at the computer store with a friend, and he was buying a new computer, and I was poking around the building and they had 3D printers on sale. Now, I've sort of avoided 3D printers, but I keep getting shamed all the time. You don't have a 3D printer, you don't have a 3D printer. I keep getting shamed all the time. And uh, it's finally come to a point where it's so darn cheap and so darn good that, gosh, I guess I should have one. Um, so I bought one. And it was $229, which is pretty hard to ignore. And I didn't. I went ahead and bought it. Anyway, so it's taking up a ton of time. One of the reasons I didn't want to buy one, because I didn't want to get bogged down with yet another hobby. But I should be able to cross-pollinate. I should be able to use it for this hobby. Um, build a little case or a little something or other. I do have a machine shop, so I can build stuff. You can print things you cannot machine easily. So. All right, look at that. Two capacitors. All right, let's put some diodes in. These are one in 4,007s. 
quite popular. Oops. These are pretty small uh, leads, though. I'm used to these having stouter leads. My, my boss before I retired, my last boss in my working career was from Ukraine. And uh, would, have been, would have been interesting to still be working so I could ask his opinion of things. And the engineer across the cubicle from me, just on the other side of the wall from me, was Russian. Sure, I could have gotten interesting opinions. So has everybody done the mental calculation now of how many volts we're going to get out of this thing? <laughs> rectified, rectified AC. R2 and R1, do they tell me which is which? No, no they don't. Interesting, oh yeah, they do. That one is 470K, so I will put the 470K over there. I've got three resistors here. I've got... A really big heavy duty one, which I guess goes here. So we'll pop that one over here. It's like a one watt jobber. I knew somebody from. Uh, Odessa that used to play international checkers. That's interesting. You ever played checkers here in the States? You played on an 8x8 board with certain rules that every kid knows, but international checkers is a 10x10 uh, 10 10 board with different rules. I think the rules are different. Could be wrong on that one. I don't play international. I don't play international checkers. He was pretty good at chess too. Him and my friend who was the chess grandmaster, they used to play together. Now, what is that other resistor doing? This one. This one is a 2120. Two it's a 20 something. It's a 20 something. Uh, let's measure it. Can't quite understand the code. Might be 270K. That's a guess. And it is 200, yeah, 200K. But nowhere on the board, no on the board is 200K. Maybe that's for, uh, maybe this bulb is 110 to, oh no, there's a 200K under there. I, I'm sorry, it's on the board. 
It's on the board. It's hiding under the capacitor. Remember I said put the flat things on first and I didn't do it? And this is the trouble you get into. You should listen to that MSI guy I hear. I hear he's pretty smart and he tells people how to do things the right way. I should have watched his channel. So I just noticed my camera's drooped and you couldn't see anything that I did. Not anything at all. But you could hear me. That's the important part. So that's always the important part. Yes, that's what I think. All right. Let's uh Look up the AC. AC Delco. What would the AC stands for in AC Delco? Was there ever a DC Delco? Probably not. Oh, nice. Now we have this very dangerous thing to play with. Okie dokie, look at that. Uh, <laughs> and you got this, that, and it has to go on here somehow. AC, AC. Oh, I didn't wear that right. Dangerous already. Yeah, dangerous already. I put it in the wrong spot. It's over here. Okie dokie. I guess we'll just put some leads here and measure the output voltage. Which, what you say? What you say? All right, look at this dangerous, dangerous operation here. Yes. All right, we have a plus and a minus, and we have a uh, Edison vase, which we can screw into things. And uh, we have a rectification that, let's see here, the AC goes through well, let's write a uh, let's let's, uh, let's reverse engineer this thing. Let's have some fun. All right, here's our schematic. The AC comes in, goes into the bridge rectifier. So uh, one leg goes into the bridge, and the other leg goes uh, is buffered with a, a capacitor and resistor, limits the current here, um, and uh, maybe this acts as a fuse. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, anyway, uh, that goes into uh, in the bridge rectifier that then goes over to here. So the uh, 
positive side comes down <coughs> to the positive side of this uh, capacitor and the negatives go here to the negative side of the capacitor so you get a, a large uh, voltage here on the uh, rectified AC on this uh, capacitor. There's a bleed capacitor so when you turn it off it uh, bleeds down uh, with 200k and then that goes out to the LED board with a 10 ohm uh, series resistor. So yeah, that's all there is to it. Um, all right, uh, so I'm using my uh, magnifier lamp. I unscrewed the light bulb and I screwed in the uh, uh, our, our bulb here. So I just I have an Edison socket inside the uh, thing here and uh, We'll come over here to the voltmeter. Whoa, sorry about that. And we're getting 155.555 volts. So is that what we expect? Should we do a calculation? Sure, why not? All right, so we have 115 volts AC. And because that is RMS, RMS, and we're going to do uh, peaks, right? So when we rectify, we're going to get peaks. So there's a square root of two that we have to get rid of. So we take our calculator out and uh, we take uh, 115 and we take the square root of two and divide that. We'll get 81.3 volts. Uh, but that's only one side of the sine wave. There's two sides of the sine wave. So and there's another factor of two. And so we get 162.6 volts. And we're only measuring 155 volts. So there's probably some losses in this thing here. We're not quite getting all of the voltage that we want, um, but we're getting pretty close. Anyway, 155 volts and you uh, somehow magically put that on. I've lost my board, here it is. <laughs> you, you put that through all of these um, and, uh, all right, all right, all right. Let, let, me, uh, let me count them just a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 38 LEDs. 38 LEDs. Okay, so 38 LEDs, 155 volts divided by 38 is 3.002 volts per LED. That's a reasonable number. Um, a little on the low side, maybe. Maybe, maybe not today with the, today. Today's a uh, LEDs are much more efficient than the uh, a decade ago. Um, the the forward voltage has dropped quite a quite a bit on these things. So anyway, there you go. That's the way it works. Uh, and then you just snap the little plasticky thing on top, and <laughs> it's super super unsafe. So do I recommend do I recommend buying one of these things? No, no, under no circumstances. It's uh, pretty dangerous. Um, and uh, probably not very efficient anyway. I mean, maybe you could put green LEDs in here and then, uh, where's my top? Where's my clear top? Did you take it? There it is. Um, let's see if we can put the top on. Oh man. Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh this is hard. Oh, there it goes. Yep. It's kind of a cute little light bulb. It did go on pretty good, so it's not terribly unsafe, but <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, anyway, there you go. Video for the day. <laughs>